Hi, this is Wagdi Isha, and I would like today to talk to you about the new uh, feature which come with SQL Server 2012, which is the BI Semantic Model. It's the new multi-dimensional analysis engine that ships with SQL Server 2012. First of all, we need to make sure that we have installed this feature on our server, but the server that I have now only contains the normal analysis servers engine so I will do a new installation of SQL Server and choose analysis service as we can see here then I will choose it as tabular mode let me show you so I have SQL Server feature installation next I will check box on the analysis service engine next okay so I need to choose now a name for my instance tabular I choose this name just to highlight that the analysis now is on the tabular mode that's what we call it is multi-dimensional mode or the tabular mode then next okay now the SQL Server I will choose the same username account name for now I will not change it and here comes the important part server configuration the server mode the multi-dimensional data mining mode which is the default mode that we used to since SQL Server 2005 or the tabular mode which is the new one that simulates the what we used to know as the power pivot in Excel but on the server I will choose my tabular mode and add the current user which is the current user that I'm logged in the administrator so I can administer the server the next and we will have our installation ready okay now after the successful installation of the tabular mode analysis service we will notice that when we try to connect to analysis service and we choose the server name slash tabular if you remember the instance that I have installed a while ago and connect we will find that databases can you see this icon here how it's doing yeah exactly compare it to the icon above for the analysis service the multi-dimensional one and now you will realize that this is the difference this is the one with the cubes and this is the one with the tabular mode okay great so let me start my first hello world project of the tabular mode analysis service database okay as we know that SQL Server 2012 development could be done through Visual Studio 2010 so we will go and start our Visual Studio 2010 and I will create a new project okay when I go to analysis service that I will this is what we will see a multi-dimensional normal project or import from a server analysis service tabular project or import from power pivot or import a, another tabular from another place so we will go with the middle one and that's what we about this for in this demo the analysis service tabular project again I would like to highlight the icon differences so we will call it project 1 okay now the project is being created and we will receive this error you cannot open the BIM file reason the workspace database server localhost is not running in a vertically packed mode what's this error well the project when it starts it's by default connect to the default analysis service which is the one that we have here which is the multi-dimensional one the not vertically pack or the tabular mode one if you have installed SQL server on the uh, default instance and the default analysis service you configured it to be in a tabular mode then you won't see this error so what should I do now when I receive this error we'll simply press OK 
To fix this error, we need to do two things. First of all, we need to right click on the properties for the project and change the server deployment to be on the instance of tabular. But this won't fix the error. We need to go to the properties of the model and change the workspace server. So it will be localhost slash tabular. OK, connect. So I get a receive message connected to workspace database server successfully. Apply changes. Double click on the model will open me now the model that I'm working on or actually the model that I will be creating. Okay, now my model is ready. I need first thing is to start getting some data from my database or from my whatever data sources. So I will click import data from data source on the very left. And do you remember this window? Yes, thank you. If you have been working with uh, Power Pivot for Excel, you will definitely be familiar with all the coming. So I will choose my data sources will be Microsoft SQL Server. Next. What's my server name? I have my database on the local server. And it's an adventure works. Next. This is the new added window other than Power Pivot for Excel, which is they specify the username and password that will will accompany the data source when it's deployed to the server. So the server will be connecting when you deploy it on an analysis service, the local host slash tabular one, it will connect to the data sources with this username and password. Of course, you don't have this window in Power Pivot for Excel because you're opening your Excel with your credentials. So the username will be administrator. The password will be pass Edward one. Next. Do you want to select table or a queries? I will select some tables. As you can see, I have the whole tables that I have. I can simply specify on any table that I want, like customers I will, and orders. Any table you want, you change it. You can change its name if you highlight it, or you can do some filters. So I can preview and filter. I will see here like an Excel sheet, let me tell it, like an Excel sheet, it's not an Excel sheet, it's a table. I can do some filtration in an Excel format, remove some columns, get it with me, like remove the zip columns, whatever. Then after I'm fine with the data, I will start fine with my table that I want to get from the source, we will finish. So the engine now will start importing progress and then will import my data. Of course, you know, Power Pivot is really, really, really powerful or the semantic model is really powerful when you talk about millions and millions of records. Here we have a simple data just for the demo. So it's an 830 rows. Okay, now I can see at the below the, my two tables that I have been collecting from the database, customers and orders. Okay, I have a, a relationship. I will create a relationship now. My relationship is between the customer ID in orders and the customer. So the table is orders, column is customer ID, customer, customer ID, create. And I have successfully created my relation. I will save the model. OK. Of course, let me walk you through quickly in orders. As you can example, I have request date and ship date. I can simply sort. Sort it. Wow, it's fast. OK. It's, I know, it's an 830 record. This is something not big. But let me tell you that all of this, the VertiPack mode is loaded in the memory. So now we are sorting in the memory and compressed by the column. 
so you can imagine how fast it is I see my model is fine I want to deploy it I will go to simply to model right click and I go to my project sorry right click then deploy now the model will be deployed on the server close so when I go back to the Visual Studio I do refresh on my databases I'll find my project one database I can open it there is no cubes here we will see the connections this is the connection between this project on the server and the database engine and my tables customer and orders now they are ready for any data source that or any power view report that you can create on it here is your data source you can connect on it start doing your report Excel also can connect to it you have it on the server now what happens if the data is uh, changed in the data source the refresh bottom you mean on power pivot for Excel well here can simply done by processing the table processing the table if I choose process fall will simply go to the server and get the new data as the the normal window that we used to then I have my newly data here in the database okay thank you this was a quick highlight of gathering the data and deploying to the server please you will find more for more information about this or more videos it's find on sqldare.com thank you